Hi guys, welcome to Classic TV Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Today's video is on 15 big facts about Sanford and Son. One of the greatest TV sitcoms of all time. So let's take a look. Uh, Cleavon Little was the one who suggested Red Fox as the lead. Cleavon Little, uh, famous for Blazing Saddles, was approached to work on the project but had to say no because of prior commitments. He suggested Red Fox as co-star in Cotton Comes to Harlem. Uh, in the film, Fox played a junk dealer. DeMond Wilson didn't think the show would last very long when he signed up. Uh, he caught the attention of executive producer Bud Yorkin during a guest appearance on All in the Family in 71, where he played a burglar who broke into Archie Bunker's house. I thought about it long and hard and decided to take a chance, Wilson later said. I'm saying yes to Sanford and Son. Red and I thought we could grab some quick cash plus no notoriety, uh, then move into a different next project. CBS passed on the show. Uh, Wilson and Fox first met each other in Vegas, where Fox was doing stand-up. Four days after their first reading together, they performed in front of all in the family cast, where a visiting NBC vice president witnessed the uh, future and ordered a pilot. Dorkin claimed that he was unable to get any CBS officials to watch Fox and Wilson's rehearsals. It's one of the stupidest things I did at CBS, the network's then-president Fred Silverman uh, admitted. Uh, Quincy Jones composed a theme song. Quincy Jones was skeptical of Sanford and Son because he had worked uh, with Fox decades earlier in, in the shows uh, and recalled not one word out of the comedian's mouth being appropriate for NBC. I just wrote what he looked like, uh, Jones said, about his composition, The Street Beater, the series theme song. Uh, it sounds like him, don't it? Fox wore more wake up, uh, more, uh, shoot, Fox wore makeup to look older. Fox, who read his nickname Chicago Red because of his hair collar, was only 49 years old uh, when the series began. Fred Sanford was 65. He complained that a lot of people assumed he was Fred's age. Uh, the heavy shoes uh, were what transformed Red into Fred. As soon as I put those heavy shoes on and walked out there, I became Sanford. But not until then, not until I put my shoes on, Fox said. I can put the rest of the outfit on, but if I don't have those shoes, I don't walk like him and I don't think like him. Uh, Fred Sanford was named after Red's brother. Uh, it was a comedian's tribute to his brother who had died five years before the show's premiere. Lamont Sanford was named after Lamont Owsley, one of the two other teenagers who made up the wash tub band Fox formed uh, when he dropped out of high school just after just one year. Character Grady Wilson uh, was named after Damon Wilson, whose full name is Grady Damon Wilson. Fox based the heart attacks on his mother. Fred Sanford is Mary Sanford, who is my mother. But you can reverse personalities into male or female, Fox told Sammy Davis Jr. on the Sammy and Company. My mother would do the same thing. She would have heart attacks when I was a kid, I remember. She wanted something done. She would hardly breathe, and she had emphysema, and she had cancer, and she had lumbago, and she had whooping cough. LaWanda Page would have been fired if it wasn't for Red Fox. LaWanda Page was the only actress Fox wanted to play Fred's sister-in-law, Esther. Uh, Page was too nervous to give an audition producers liked, but Fox insisted they were going to let me go. Page told Jet Magazine in 77, but Red said, no, you ain't going to let her go. That's LaWanda, and I know she can do it. Just give me some time with her. Now, Richard Pryor and Paul Mooney co-wrote two episodes. Legendary comedians co-wrote two episodes of Sanford and Son together during the show's second season, The Dowry, and Sanford and Son and Sister Makes Three. Uh, Fred sang along to the Ink Spots because Fox was a huge fan. Fox walked off the show during season three. In the final six episodes of the third season, Grady was put in charge of the business while Fred Sanford was in St. Louis attending his cousin's funeral because Fox had walked off the show. Fox, in his position, claimed the actor was suffering from nervous exhaustion, claustrophobia, and calcification between the fifth and sixth vertebrae in his back. Thanks to the show, and his marriage of 17 years was falling apart because of his busy schedule. NBC and Tandem Productions claimed Fox appeared at the studio flaunting a pearl-handled revolver, and had already received a salary bump of, uh, up to $25,000 an episode from his initial $6,000. Tandem Productions sued Fox and Wilson, who had joined Fox to start of the season four out of solidarity. 
uh, for $10 million claiming breach of contract. Uh, there was a failed spinoff and two failed revivals. Uh, before Sanford and Son ended its run, Grady moved out of Watts and in with his daughter in Westwood in Grady, a spinoff that lasted just 10 episodes. Sanford uh, brought back Sanford, uh, brought back Fox, but Wilson again refused to reprise his role. The events of Sanford Arms were ignored, and this time Lamont left to work on the Alaska Pipeline. Uh, between the two uh, was the Sanford Arms. Um, Sanford and Son's salvage truck was purchased for $3,500. Fox had kept the 51 Ford F1 at his own Las Vegas home after the original series ended, turning it briefly to NBC for Sanford. Um, at an auction, uh, Bill Milks bought it, and Donald DeMitt of DeMitt Salvage in Argos, Indiana, purchased it from Milks in 87 for $3,500. And when Fox suffered a heart attack on the set of the royal family, his co-stars thought he was doing the bit from Sanford and Son. Fox collapsed on October 11, 1991, during rehearsals for his new sitcom, The Royal Family. Uh, they were rehearsing on the set and clowning around, and Red was sort of breaking people up when he collapsed. Spokeswoman for the show told L.A. Times. They all thought he was joking around at first, and then they called the paramedics. And you know what? If you've never seen the royal family, if you can find uh, some, uh, some sit streaming somewhere, that was a terrific show. That would have been a blockbuster. I mean, I loved that show. I actually starred him and Della Reese. Uh, Della, great singer, uh, star of Touched by an Angel. Just a great actress, beautiful actress. Uh, just a great show. You would have loved it, I promise. If, and, and Sanford and Son was just I mean, what can be said about the classic, I mean, the real classic? That's all I have for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget about classic rock and country music facts and trivia. Over there, um, the album, Led Zeppelin IV, with the guy on the front cover with the wheat hanging from his... They finally figured out who that man was on the front cover. I've been wondering for decades. So make sure you check that out. Uh, please like this video before you take off. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. Have a great day. God bless. I'll be praying for you.